Um, and welcome to the ESC TV. My name's uh, Dr. Gale from Leeds, uh, United Kingdom, and I'm here with Professor Bongiorni from Pisa, uh, Italy. And we're talking about the exciting uh, development of the Electra Registry, a multi country, multinational registry looking at uh, lead extractions. So, um, Professor Bongiorni, uh, tell me about the uh, implications of this uh, exciting initiative. The implication is uh, really very important in clinical practice and will be important in clinical practice because uh, if you consider that uh, indication to lead removal is mainly infective, are mainly infective and non-infective. Mm -hmm. uh, I There are a lot of patients with a local infection that are treated conservatively with a lot of intervention mm -hmm. without uh, uh, a real cure of the problem because the local infection must be cured only with the complete removal of the device, lead and uh, uh, pacemaker or defibrillator. And uh, uh, the risk of this procedure, the risk of uh, major complication is the, in my opinion, is the real concern about uh, the indication of this procedure. Physicians uh, do not refer patient for lead extraction right. because right. this concern about lead, yeah. lead extraction complication. Mm. And uh, another point is that we have a lot of patients with multiple leads, abandoned leads, not functioning leads because of uh, concern about uh, complications. Yeah. So Electra is very important because demonstrating that complications are not so frequent Right. And the success rate is so, so high, the success rate, okay. that could change the indication in the future, in the, in the community. And, and, and so we have an increasing prevalence of, of leads uh, because of an increasing prevalence of pacemakers uh, and therefore potentially an increased prevalence or need for lead extraction for the various reasons as you've uh, detailed. What, how are we go going forward? How are we going to develop this service? What, uh, Yes, I, I can imagine in the future with the, the, the need to add leads, for example, for resynchronization therapy, we can find patients with a abandoned lead because we have to insert new leads for resynchronization therapy. Or I can imagine with the possibility to use this new technology like MRI conditional devices, they cannot be used because patient had old leads not compatible with the uh, MRI. So I think uh, in the future there is a need for lead extraction activity and it is important that countries uh, uh, have a, a good program on this, uh, on this topic. And uh, m in my opinion several key points are important. The volume of the center, right. because uh, yeah. I think that Electra will demonstrate that there is a difference between high volume and low volume centers. And uh, there is uh, the need of a, uh, faci some facilities and some important facilities like the surgeon, for example, the need of, of a surgical standby to treat immediately some complication because uh, the complication is possible but the complication must be cured yes. in uh, in time yeah. in time to save the patient good well thank you very much uh, so i look forward to hearing more about the electro registry um, a, a great uh, uh, initiative and thank you very much uh, professor bongiorni thank you